Amsterdam has always been a city of immigrants, from the Flemish who fled here during the Eighty Years' War to the Jews who made up 80,000 of the city's population in the 1920s. Today, the immigrants are from Suriname, Turkey, Morocco, and Eastern Europe. Over half of Amsterdam's population is what the Dutch call Alechton, immigrants or the children of immigrants. But in recent years, many Dutch have come to resent the new wave of immigrants, especially the Muslim ones. They say the ideal of a multicultural society is a failure. Data show that in recent years, Amsterdam has actually become more segregated, not less. We're now half of the population are migrant families then I think it would be a good condition, you know, people would live in the same neighborhoods, would go to the same schools. So in that sense, segregation is a problem. And um, I was astonished to find out that in Rotterdam, which has a much harsher political culture, um, the segregation was declining, whereas in Amsterdam it's grown. It has something to do also with the physical layout of the city that is divided into the inner city and uh, the suburbs, which are um, the place where you would find mainly migrant families. In 2000, Paul Schreffer touched off a firestorm with an essay arguing that the multicultural ideal needed to be reconsidered. His warnings were driven home in 2004, when Dutch TV comedian Theo van Gogh was stabbed to death by a Muslim extremist on an Amsterdam street. Many Dutch began demanding that immigrants be required to integrate into Dutch society, and that fed the rise of an anti-Muslim, anti-immigrant political movement, Geert Wilders and the Party for Freedom. But Amsterdam City Alderwoman Fatima Elatik says the call for requiring a non-native Dutch to do more to integrate gets it wrong. The daughter of an illiterate Moroccan immigrant and a rising star in the Dutch Labour Party, she says integration is the wrong paradigm. I really believe in an inclusive society in which everybody is taking responsibility for society as a whole and is participating fully uh, in which uh, a society in which your background, whether it's an ethnic background or your sexual background or your sexual orientation, isn't uh, the thing you're measured by, uh, by, uh, by, but you're measured by the things you do and the, the things that you contribute to society. And the way uh, integration paradigm right now is seen, it's uh, people from an ethnic background integrating in this big, I don't know, something we call Dutch uh, culture and society. And that's, I don't think that's actually the reality. The tensions between native and non-native Dutch are real. Young Dutch Moroccan men are over three times as likely to be involved in crime as native Dutch. And education, rather than bringing native and non-native Dutch closer, often splits them further apart. We should be aware that is in this, this area, especially in Southeast, uh, a lot of children don't speak Dutch at home. That isn't a problem if they speak properly Dutch. But if, if even the parents don't speak Dutch, and uh, uh, of course the, uh, uh, the, the education system in Holland is mostly Dutch. Mr. Schaeffer says what's needed is not aggressive cultural integration, but new norms that tell people from different backgrounds what's expected of them as citizens. Native Dutch people that are used to this kind of way of life in society for the last century think that uh, new people coming in our, in our country are changing uh, those norms and those values in our society. And I think, why? Why, why are you, should you be afraid about it? Be proud of what you have. Be proud of the identity of the Dutch culture. I am proud of the identity of Dutch culture. When I go abroad, I keep telling people how wonderful Holland is. I keep telling people how wonderful the norms and the values are. It is about reciprocity, about saying, you know, my rights are linked to rights of others. And you cannot force people into accepting, you know, that asking respect should also entail giving respect to others. You cannot force people to do that. You cannot force people to accept homosexuality as a lifestyle or as a choice. But you can defend that norm in a more explicit way. And I think those who are saying integration in the end, you know, it's uh, the wrong question because it's basically about living according to the law. I think societies need more common ground than only saying, you know, we need to live according to the law. One hopeful note in his research, while Dutch Moroccans and Dutch Turks may not feel comfortable identifying themselves with the Netherlands, they do strongly identify with their hometown, Amsterdam. Matt Steinglass, Financial Times, Amsterdam.